Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a product empties review video. So I'm gonna basically go through all of my product empties which I have in this co-op bag. Very casual, that's not from the co-op, not a single product is from the co-op, don't worry. But yeah, I'm gonna go through all of the products in that bag and I'm gonna give my short review of them. They're products that I've either used up, don't want any more. It's gonna be a short review, would I buy it again or not? And just kind of work our way through them. I will be filming quite a few of these videos throughout the year, maybe even like once every month or once every couple of months because I do get through products quite quickly and I don't know why, because I'm not buying products as quick as I'm getting through them, which doesn't make any sense to me because I, I don't buy that much makeup. I know, you know, you might think that I do. I actually don't, like the things that I like to buy are eyeshadow palettes and I don't get through those I don't use the I don't you know use up eyeshadow palettes let's just crack on but if this video is too long then I will save some of the products for the next one because I don't want it to be too long I want it to be an actual proper review my thoughts my opinions okay so let's dive into the bag of mystery there is obviously a lot of body shop products in here because that is all i own when it comes to skincare okay so the first product is the body shop pink grapefruit shower gel this scent smells amazing like this is one of the best scents that the body shop do my mum loves the hand uh, wash i've got the hand wash myself as well in this scent and i love it the thing with the body shop shower gels is that they do lather up really well and the smell lasts for a long time it's not one of those scents that you know you use it and then it goes away as soon as you come out of the shower this does last and as you can see i made my way through a whole one and i would definitely 100 percent buy this again and other scents and things because they've got millions of different scents so the next product is actually a skincare product and it is the body shop vitamin e cream cleanser this is for all skin types. So this is the kind of product that is perfect for people with sensitive skin. It's so gentle on your skin that if you kind of react to any products, this just wouldn't, you know, react to your skin unless you had like a really bad skin condition. It's so gentle and so moisturizing and it honestly feels like you're using a moisturizer as a cleanser my friend emma bought one of these off me because i do sell products for the body shop and and that was her rebuying this because it of how good it is it is just a really great cleanser to use so would i get this again yes 100 percent. even though i don't have sensitive skin so i do like to try other more kind of deep cleansing ones but if you do then this would be good then next up i've got a dry shampoo this is the girls only hair care I've bought this from Tesco. This is just a dry shampoo for volume. It says dazzling volume. I always get these ones from Tesco's because they're not too expensive. Um, I just get them and in comparison to Batiste, you know, these aren't actually any any better, any worse. They just compare quite well. So I would recommend getting these if you want to save a little bit of money because they are a little bit cheaper. Okay, I do have a shampoo and conditioner. I have actually given the shampoo to my mum. So this is the Body Shop Shea Butter Richly um, Replenishing Conditioner and then obviously the shampoo. What I usually do with Body Shop products is if there's a little bit at the end, I will give it to my mum so that she can try it as well after I've used it, just in case she likes it, that kind of thing. This is the conditioner and this is meant for dry, prone to damage hair. So if you've got kind of dry hair that, I don't know, you know, you might use a lot of products on it in terms of like hairspray or hair straighteners, things like that, then this is an essential because it will nourish and moisturize your hair. The hair mask of this is amazing. It will honestly make your hair so silky soft. So this range is a really, really good one for that. Also, if you are interested in any of the Body Shop products that I mentioned in this video or anything at all, do let me know because like I say, I do sell them for the Body Shop. My Facebook and my Instagram for the Body Shop will be linked in the description if you want to contact me and I'll let you know what discounts are going on, etc. But anyway, would I buy this again? 100% yes, I would definitely buy the conditioner again. Oh, we have another Body Shop product. The Body Shop Rich Plum Shower Gel. So again, this is another shower gel. This was part of their Christmas range, so it's limited edition, not available anymore, but it was such a nice smelling one. Not a customer of, of mine, but somebody I know actually purchased 
about 15 of these because they were so addicted to the smell that they didn't want them to, to you know to go because obviously it was limited edition okay next up i have a product that i actually really loved so this is the collection primed and ready makeup fixing spray i loved this as a makeup setter as somebody who has oily skin i really do need products that are going to kind of set my um face in place and keep it matte throughout the day so that i don't have to powder and so that i don't have to kind of i don't know just keep an eye on it really um this is probably the best makeup setting spray that i've ever used it sets your plate it sets your makeup in place and doesn't make your base look powdery anymore and it also doesn't make it look matte like it just looks like a kind of nice satiny finish love this i've got through about three or four bottles of this and i would definitely repurchase in the future then we have the body shop british rose exfoliating gel scrub i never used a body scrub before really apart from one that i got sent to do a video on and i wasn't really like a body scrub kind of person like i didn't really see the point in them until i tried this one so i absolutely was addicted to the smell of this the british rose scent at the body shop is an amazing scent and i scrubbed it into my body and then as soon as i came out of the shower the, the smell of it was still there for about two days and i just find that amazing how you can put a product on your body wash it off and it's still smelling like that two days after and i think it's because obviously you're scrubbing it into your body and the scent is there i don't know whether it's all of their scrubs or whether it's just this one in particular but this is honestly amazing and if you're the kind of person that gets like dry skin or anything i would highly recommend this for because it will get rid of your dry skin and make you smell really really nice so we do now have a foundation this is one from primark this is the ps my perfect color glow foundation with spf 30 and i just thought that was amazing that primark put in an spf into their foundation because obviously the price isn't ridiculously expensive their makeup isn't expensive um this was six pounds and it is in the shade nude beige and i'm so impressed with this this was a really good foundation it's better than some i've tried that are a lot more expensive and i would highly recommend this if you're on a budget or something like that because this is honestly a great foundation i think i did a video testing this out i'm not sure it, i think it got over like a thousand views or something like that so people did quite like that video yeah it was a really really good foundation and it gave great coverage so yes i would definitely recommend i'm so far recommending all of these products i don't know if that's going to continue but so far so good oh we've got a good product here we have got a good one probably the best one in this video this is the body shop chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter suitable for sensitive skin so if you've got sensitive skin this is the product to go for this is a makeup remover and i don't know why i'm opening it to show you because it's empty you know it has the tiniest little bit left in it it's basically like the emma hardy cleansing balm because i have tried that before it's a balm consistency and when you apply it onto your face you apply it to remove makeup so say i've got a full face like this on i will apply it onto my face rub at my skin and it will just remove my makeup so quickly people use it to remove halloween makeup it's that good and like theater makeup and things like that um so yeah you rub it all into your skin you then get a like muslin cloth or just kind of like a flannel and then you wipe it off and it just it comes off like an absolute dream like it literally just wipes off i wish i could do a demo in this video but i will show it in another video coming up in a month or two but it's an amazing product and it works so so well at just getting your makeup off quickly and it also means that you're not using like any makeup wipes or anything it's good for the environment because you're literally just using this and a flannel which is obviously reusable so i would definitely recommend this product one million percent and i have rebought another one of those so would i rebuy again yes because i have rebought one and i will continue to my auntie does actually buy that off me as well so she uses that so i've got another conditioner in here how interesting i think i must have given my, the, sh the end of the um shampoo for this to my mum as well this is the body shop fuji green tea refreshingly hydrating conditioner for normal hair i would actually recommend this for people that kind of suffer from a little bit more of like greasy roots even though i wouldn't apply conditioner into the roots i mean more like the shampoo this is definitely for people that have got more kind of greasy hair if your hair is quite um dry or anything this might not be the product to go for 
but I love this. This is the product that got me absolutely hooked on the smell of Fuji green tea. I, after using these products, went and bought the actual eau de toilette of it from the body shop because of how nice this scent smells. If you're wondering why the camera is shaking, it's because you're balanced on my hamster cage and he is currently in his home eating some food, making the camera shake, so I can only apologize. I was so confused. I was like, why is the camera shaking and I'm not moving? But it must be him. Okay, I've got quite a lot of makeup in here so I might save that for another video and do like a makeup one that might be a better idea actually okay I'll do a few more products and then I'll save the other ones there because I don't want these videos to be ridiculously long because it is obviously just me going through empty products so the next thing is a beauty blender now this is not an actual beauty blender this is a real technique sponge and I would so 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 recommend these to apply your makeup with. I used to use, um, originally I used my hands. Do not use your hands if you want full coverage or if you put a lot of makeup on because it will just leave streaks on your face. If you find that your foundation is streaky, when you use your hands to apply it, that is why. Also using a brush can make it streaky as well. And I did also used to use a brush, but um, I used quite a dense brush, so it packed it on quite nicely. This changed the game. Like honestly, I did not expect my, you know, me to, to kind of love this so much. So this is a beauty blender from Real Techniques. It is the Real Techniques beauty sponge. You put it under water and kind of give it a little bit of a squeeze and it will expand into like probably like three times, two or three times the size of it. And then you just buff it in to apply your makeup. It gives a flawless finish to your skin and just means there's no streaks on your skin. It blends everything in. It doesn't make your skin look cakey because it kind of takes away that cakiness in the coverage by soaking it up a little bit. But honestly, I could not recommend these enough and I cannot live without it. I've got through about four of these now. Second to last, is another great product in this video and this is the body shop himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask so this is one of their expert face masks they've got many different ones that they do and i have got a few of them but this is the first one that i tried and i love it my mum really likes this one as well it is just a classic face mask it's like a clay consistency so you put it onto your skin it's very intense it will soak out and kind of withdraw any impurities that you've got it does sting a little bit on your skin but that's because of how you know good it's working and it you know everybody has that with this face mask and it dries kind of like a charcoal clay mask dries on your skin and then you wash it off after 15 minutes and your skin is so nice so clear I used to crave using this I cannot wait to get this again because I love it so when I run out of my other face masks I will purchase this again because it's a bit silly for me to buy loads of face masks even though I've already got loads so yeah love this would i recommend this yes would i buy it again a million percent and finally for this video because i don't want it to be too long we have got the primark natural false lash um false eyelashes so these are the natural ones and they're only a pound i thought you know what they're only a pound i'll give them a go and to be honest with you i'm not an eyelash person i don't know how to apply them properly i'm really terrible at it so i can't really give a good enough review but they are definitely natural. They, when I applied them, eventually managed to get them on. They made my eyelashes look really natural, like they actually did. They didn't even look like I had eyelashes on, which I'm not sure if that's the point. Like surely when you put eyelashes on, you kind of do want to look like you are wearing something. But yeah, they were very, very natural and they did go on very quickly, but I don't know whether it's just Primark glue, but yeah, it just, they just don't stay on. I don't know, I'm just not the best at them. So I wouldn't buy these again so that is everything in my kind of product empties video i do have a whole bag full of makeup still i just didn't want this video to be too long so i will make another product empties video maybe next month or later on this month or something like that but yeah obviously there is a lot of body shop products but that is because i do use a lot of products from the body shop i'm not gonna you know lie to you so yeah overall it was a success there was nothing that i didn't like apart from the eyelashes standout product was definitely the chamomile cleansing butter and also the himalayan charcoal clay mask both from the body shop if there is anything that you are interested in obviously from the body shop do let me know i'll link down my facebook group and also my body shop instagram in the description if you want to check them out and just let me know when i can let you know what discounts are on etc completely up to you but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video and kind of got an insight into my review of products that i've completely used up so it is a really good review and yeah 
yeah so please do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and remember to subscribe for more videos on my channel and i will see you in my next video goodbye